She's described as the heroine of the Balkans. Natasha Kandic has devoted 20 years of her life seeking redress for the victims of the war. She has the new horrible aim in the life to find remains, to have the grave of uh, their sons, to know where to go. They need to talk, they need attention, they uh, need to know that uh, there are some people who are interested, who, ha uh, who have compassion. Uh, towards and solidarity with them. Especially uh, for them, it's very important to have people from other side. Zvornik was the scene of one of the worst massacres of the Balkan conflict. 750 civilians were taken away and killed by Serbian troops. Abhorrent war crimes that the regime in Belgrade did its utmost to conceal. However, Natasha Kandic's unrelenting efforts have revealed the appalling truth and those responsible have, one by one, been put on trial to account for their actions. You know, we have 130,000 people who lost their lives. Probably two million people who were uh, forced to leave their houses. Probably more than 800,000 uh, people who left the uh, uh, territory of the former Yugoslavia. It's horrible things, horrible pasts. And uh, to, uh, how to respond to the horrible pa pasts? I cannot say that I'm a hero, that I su succeeded to save the lives of people. No, nobody succeeded. It means that uh, uh, there are no people who deserve uh, really awards. smiling. This footage from the massacre in Srebrenica that had taken Natasha years to track down reverberated around the world, generating widespread outrage and led to the trial and conviction of some of the perpetrators. Natasha Kandic has received praise from far and wide for her work, but in Serbia itself she continues to be labelled a traitor who should be eliminated. It's uh, my personal uh, decision to deal with uh, uh, human rights. Uh, it's my personal uh, need or my personal uh, view how to, uh, how to react on uh, what's happened in the past. And, um, you know, to be at risk, to be afraid. Uh, nobody who is afraid can deal with, uh, with human rights especially with human rights relating the war. Fear and human rights are on the uh, opposite side. Just as important as bringing war criminals to justice is the work to give the 130,000 people who so brutally lost their lives a face and a name, as well as bring their story to the fore. It's vital none of them end up as just another figure in the statistics. We can collect uh, documents, information, facts about the victims. We can sit and write objective narrative about what's happened. But we cannot replace state in, to recognize the victims. We need politicians who will understand that respect of all victims is a priority uh, for the future. Because, uh, you know, without uh, facing with the past, it's very difficult to build the future.